Well, new tonight, we are learning about an active scam going on involving the Anderson County Sheriff's Office. Yeah, callers claim to be sheriff deputies demand money to pay off fake arrest warrants. WAT 6 on your side's Ella Wales spoke with the Sheriff's Office today about what to do and how to avoid becoming a victim. Ella. Bo, Don, there are a few red flags that may indicate an illegitimate call. Here's what to look out for. Some people are um, so intimidated by the prospect of having criminal charges brought against them that they'll, that they comply and actually send money in. Lieutenant Robert Mansfield with Anderson County Sheriff's Office says they've seen an influx of scam callers impersonating deputies. Law enforcement agencies will never call you and ask you to pay them to get out of trouble or stay out of trouble. Um, Anderson County Sheriff's Department will never call you and ask for money. Um, we don't collect fines, we don't collect fees, that's just not something our agency does. He says the easiest way to spot a scammer is the payment method they ask for. Is it uh, with gift cards, is it with Bitcoin? Um, anything unusual like that is a pretty good indicator that, that it's, uh, it's a fraud and you should hang up immediately. And please contact us and uh, we'll document your concern and investigate as much as we can. Mansfield says outside of the callers claiming there's a warrant out for the recipient of the call's arrest, there are some other claims they may make. A lot of it is, uh, uh, involves their social security number being suspended uh, and they need to, to pay to, get, to have it unfrozen. Uh, some of it is related to taxes, things like that. Um, it's the ones that uh, we've seen an uptick more lately that pretend to be law enforcement. The Sheriff's Department looks into the calls as much as they can, but the investigations often have to be passed on to larger agencies. Whenever we are able to uh, trace a phone number or an IP address, it does often go outside of our jurisdiction. Uh, so we, uh, we let either in, uh, interstate agencies know about it or federal agencies know about it. Another thing to look out for, some of these callers have been able to change the caller ID to appear to be coming from Anderson County Sheriff's Office. All right, Ella, thank you. Now, we're also being told that the callers have become more sophisticated over time, and they often work in groups.